Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. It's Thursday the 16th of January 2020. Just finished Yoganuary for today, so I had a really, really good, it was about 25, 30, well, it was 25 minutes, well, 25 minutes of um, just some pretty gentle stretching, but really, really good. So um, for anyone out there that does yoga, it was kind of bordering, it was moving more towards yin, so it was just very gentle stretches held for, held for a bit longer. It wasn't complete yin, I wasn't in the poses for, you know, for like three minutes or, or plus or whatever, but um, in them for quite a bit, so really nice, gentle stretching. For anyone that doesn't know yoga, very, very simply, the, 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 you, when you do the poses, you can, you can generally either do them um, and hold them for a very short amount of time, and you kind of tense everything and you're, and, you're, and you're going into the pose. You're not bouncing in the pose, but you're going into the pose for a short amount of time and you're, you know, you're, you're um, strengthening your core, you're kind of sucking everything in, for want of a better expression. Um, or, you can, or you can go to the other extreme where you go into a pose slowly, so you can kind of power into a pose or you can move into it quite quick, or you can go into a pose slowly a lot more relaxed and you're just breathing and you're not tensing so much and you just let yourself melt into the pose and you might then hold that for it might just be 30 seconds or it could be you know five minutes or more and that's that's a lot gentler and it's referred to as like yin yoga um, and, and that can actually help you get a deeper stretch into your muscles so when you're doing quicker poses if you if you if you were to imagine a muscle if it had say two layers, hypothetically, a quick, a quick, powerful yoga is going to is going to activate this top layer, but a, a longer, gentler stretch is going to have more time to then sink into that deeper layer. So, if you're wanting to do things like increase your range of, of flexibility, for example, it, it's a really good idea to do some of that longer gentler stretching because then that will help you get your muscles sort of get used to stretching a bit further and you're not and you're not forcing anything you're not forcing muscles you're not forcing tendons at all you're just gently gently easing them um, and yeah just that's very very basic um, and there's potentially someone will watch this who does yoga will be screaming at the, at the screen saying oh but you know it's, it's it, that's what it is so yeah, listen, anyway, I digress. The whole point of today's video is actually to talk about the um, this little bad boy here. It's the Ultra Vanish R that I received yesterday. So if you didn't see it, have a look at yesterday's vlog when I unboxed this, uh, this pair of shoes. Um, so I actually took them down the racing track last night, down to the uh, Sheep Mount Stadium in Carlisle, and had a little run around the track. And I say little, it was just three and a half kilometers, just to, just to break them in gently and just see what they were like. So they potentially still need breaking in, um, if, if they need breaking in that is. Um, yeah, just wanted to give you my thoughts on the shoe. So Ultra Vanish R, this is a size 10. Um, got it from sportsshoes.com, uh, there's a link in the description below. And I picked these up for 60 something pounds. So less than, the brand new, less than less than they would be if I'd bought them direct from Ultra, and they turned up in about two days from ordering, so really easy to get hold of. They have got another colour on there online at the moment in red, which I wanted to get, but they didn't have my size. So I got these in a ten, and that's the that is I believe the right size for me in this shoe. If I'd got the nine and a half, which I was almost going to pull the trigger on for the red one, I think it would have been just a little bit too tight for me. So. Um, Good shoe. So moving on from that, actually the fit of this thing, really nice. It's got, and I, and I showed this in yesterday's uh, vlog, but you can see the lacing system here. It's actually kind of inside this little flappy bit here. I say flappy bit, it's actually glued down. So the laces go through, I don't know if you can see that, the laces go through these little plasticky bits here. Very, very thin laces. Two reasons for that, obviously. One is weight, because th this thing's trying to be l as light as possible. And two, the tongue in this thing absolutely 
paper thin. So you don't want a round lace that's then gonna dig through that tongue. There's no padding in that tongue whatsoever. You don't want that digging into the top of your foot. Um, because when you put this thing on, you want to obviously lock it down as tight as you can so it doesn't slip around on your foot. Um, upper, very breathable to be honest with you. It's absolutely covered in holes, as you can see. And it's, and it's super thin, it's a, bit, it's a bit like the tongue. And basically, actually, the tongue is just an extension of the, of the top. It literally is, it's just like they've just cut it to make the tongue, <laughs> frankly. That's probably potentially what they've done. Um, so really, really breathable and really thin upper. Um, didn't notice, I didn't run very far on it to be fair, only three and a half kilometers, but didn't, it, my feet didn't get hot at all. It was quite windy out last night. Um, I can't remember what the temperature was. They say it was like six degrees or something, but it was very windy. The wind was about 21, 22 miles an hour wind blowing across the track. So one way when I was running, it was great. But when I came around the, when the other side of the track, I had the wind full in my face, so not so nice. Um, Heel-wise, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, heel-wise, um, it's a little bit of padding here in the back, tiny little bit that, that goes just around here, so this little bit here is padded. Underneath, it's a little bit reinforced. They've put some stuff around the, the shoe here to reinforce the, the cup of the heel. Um, comfort wise, do you know what when I when I when I put it on and when I went to the track because actually I actually walked to the track and walked back and it's about ten minutes ten minute walk or so um, going up, going down and running around the track absolutely fine these are super light um, didn't didn't they felt really comfortable after I finished running and actually as I was on the way back. I, f I noticed more in my left foot than my right foot, ever so slightly, this side of the, he of the back of the heel, just rubbing a little bit on the back of my foot. Now I've never experienced that with the Beacons, which I've got here, or the Soconi Kinvara 10s that I've got here. They are more padded, well the, I say that, the Beacons not that much, not very padded. The Soconis are very padded in the back. Um, it, it wasn't uncomfortable, but I did notice it. That's something I would say. So now whether that means that I didn't have the shoe locked down enough and it was just moving about a bit, or maybe I had it locked down a bit too much and it was pressing in, I'm not sure at this stage. So that's something I'm gonna keep an eye on and I'll report back on, because I will run more in these. Uh, performance wise, really, really enjoyed it. Even though it's only got a 14 mil stack height, all the way along, and this is a zero drop shoe as well. Um, do you know what it really reminded me of? And this is funny, and I've said this, I've said this before about shoes. I'm 50 years old, so I used to run years and years ago. Crikey, I left school when I was 16, and I used to do a bit of cross country and so on at school, and obviously, and running around the track and so on at school in athletics. Um, and back then, that would have been luxury. I, I, absolutely, a, 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 a stack height of 14 mils back then when I was at school, I, it would have been luxury because a lot of the time we were running in plimsolls with, I suppose it would be a bit like wearing one of those like zero shoes or, or um, some of the other ones that are like, you know, real minimalist shoes. A blade of grass could almost go through the bottom of your plimsoll if they were that thin. Um, and then when we were doing cross country, we used to run in our football boots. That's, we didn't have, you know, trail shoes. Just, you just put your football boots on and, and ran. Um, but it kind of reminded me of the, a little bit of the experience of that. It wasn't uncomfortable. It actually felt really, it actually felt running around the track um, pretty comfortable actually, I must say. I didn't, I didn't jar my feet at all. My legs, I didn't go far, but, but my legs felt absolutely fine. Um, not really, not really that much different to say running in the Kinvara 10, to be honest with you, in terms of comfort. So, performed really well. Now, the only thing I am a little bit disappointed about is, and it's nothing to do with the shoe, it's actually my Strava. At the moment, I'm using my phone. My, I've got an iPhone SE, so it's not the, the, the latest, greatest iPhone by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and, and so far, Strava's been absolutely fine. And last night, one of my kilometers was something like four, 
35 or something. I've got a link to my Strava below, so you, you're absolutely welcome to have a look at my Strava records, follow me if you want to, that'd be great. Um, but my first kilometre, it, it, it showed it as something like 12, 12.30 or 12, oh, 12.43, I think it came up at. Um, I walk faster than that, so it's like, oh my God, that was crazy. So I don't quite know what happened to my Strava last night. Um, and actually I did do a little bit of running on the way, out on the road as well, so not just the track in these. And they felt really, really good, I have to say. Um, if you are looking for a racing flat, I would say you could do worse than get a pair of these, actually. Um, what I do want to do, and I'm gonna save this for another video, actually, is I'm going down to the track, and actually I might do it this weekend, because the weather's meant to be quite nice, or nicer. I'm going back down to the track on Saturday, is my plan. Um, because I want to uh, run a 10K. So I want to do 25 laps of the track, basically. Not sure what, how long it's going to take me. My aim is, uh, and this is going to sound awful to some people, my aim is to do it in an hour, um, or less, hopefully. But it'll, be the, it'll actually be the first time I've run that far since I left school. So it's a long time since I've run a 10K. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna see what, just gonna take it easy. I'm not gonna sprint off. Um, I'm going to go off a bit slower, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run uh, 25 laps of the track, so I'll, I'll take you down there and, and, and we'll do a bit of filming down there. But what I might actually, if I, I'll either do it this weekend or I'll do it very soon. I'm actually gonna do a comparison between these guys and the Kinvara 10, so the Ultra Vanish R versus the Kinvara 10. Um, at the same time, so on, on the same day, in the same conditions, I'm obviously not gonna be wearing the shoe. I'm not gonna like put one shoe on one foot and one on the other, that'd be a bit mad. Oh, you could do that, I suppose, but that would be a bit, um, I'm saying it'd be a bit crazy, that might be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, so I'll do a, compar a, 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 a comparison of the two shoes on the same day. One thing that did amaze me though, actually, is these, these are very light. I popped them on the scales, I've got a, a scale next to me. So on the on one website I saw I mentioned this yesterday I saw that they were meant they were 111 grams on another website they were saying they were 128 I appreciate it depends on the size I'm going to pop this on my this is a, a, a UK men's size 10 I'm going to pop that on the scale next to me and it's telling me it's 158 157 158 let's call it 158 grams okay I'm going to put the Kinvara 10 on the scale. That is telling me it is 245 grams. Okay, so nearly 100 grams more in weight. This surprised me because I did this before I started filming. The Beacon 2, which I thought was gonna weigh more than the Kimvara, 225. <laughs> so, do you know, it's really funny. In my head, I'd got in this idea that the, Kim the Sokini Kimvara 10 weighed less than the New Balance Beacon 2. Now this is a men's nine and a, UK men's nine and a half, and this is a UK men's 10. So if this was a 10, it'd be a little bit more. Um, no, the Beacon 2 actually weighs less than the Kinvara, but when I run in them, I run faster in the Kinvara than the Beacon 2. So weight isn't everything, um, mm. is the moral of that story. And actually, I don't think I was running last night that much faster in this Ultra Vanish R than I've been running in this Kinvara 10. So this is at the moment the heaviest shoe that I own, and this is the lightest, but I run, I think, at the moment, a little bit faster in this than I run in this. And I run the slowest in this fella here. Um, and, and whether that's to do with the the, thickness of the of the midsole or what at the moment I'm not sure um, you know this 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 Kimbar is you know is a good shoe I love it um, but yeah going back to this I would say um, I really like it fits really well just want to keep an eye on that little bit of rubbing on the back of it I didn't notice in the, in the right foot at all it was purely my left foot um, so it may have just been the way that I laced one shoe up as opposed to the other um, but I'll, I'll, I'll 
I'll do more runs in these because I've literally just done three and a half kilometers. So I'll, I'll do more runs in this and I'll report back on their performance um, when I've got more miles in them. But I will do, as I say, a, a comparison between the Ultra Vanish R and the Sokony Kinvara 10 and just see which, and, and, and see in terms of how it feels, the speed I run at and so on. So yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, I recommend this. If you're gonna get yourself a pair, do have a look at sportsshoes.com. I don't get any, that you don't have to use the link in, in my description below. I don't earn any money out of that at all, by the way. Um, so feel free to use the link or just Google them yourself. I don't care. Uh, but have a look at them because they're on there and they are cheaper. So don't, but don't spend more money buying it from Ultra themselves when you can, sorry Ultra, but when you can get it cheaper from someone else who I found, only the first time I've used them, but really easy to order, turned up in two days to my house. So what more can you ask for really? Um, yeah, good shoe, recommend it. Check them out yourself. Uh, if you like, if you're into that type of shoe, obviously you don't necessarily want to use this type of shoe if you're going to be running a half marathon or a marathon. But if you're going for a 5k, yeah, good shoe. Probably get, probably a 10k as well. You'd be fine in these as well. I, I don't see why not. Um, yeah, good shoe, recommended. Listen, I'm going to go because this is turning into a long video. But um, wherever you are, have a great evening. If you're going out running, watch out for cars and stay safe. And I will catch you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.